Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. In this video, we are going to look into differences between at the rate component and at the rate bean annotation. We know that both of these annotations are used to create a bean in spring container. If both are going to create a bean, how these two annotations are different? So we'll be seeing the difference now. Please do like, share, and subscribe to this video so that this video reaches to more of the community who are preparing for interviews just like you. So here is what you see is a component. A, a demo component class is annotated with at the rate component. So whenever a component scan will run with this particular annotation at the rate Spring Boot application, this class will be under the component scan and the bean for demo component will be created in the Spring container. Also, there is an external configuration created with at the rate configuration. This class is also under the component scan. At the rate bean here will be creating a bean with the name of my bean in the Spring container. So how these two are different, how the beans created with this and beans created with this is different. So very important thing to notice, this is a class level annotation. You can see this annotation is created over a class while this at the rate bean annotation is created over a method where the class level annotation is at the rate configuration. So at the rate bean is a method level annotation while at the rate component is a class level annotation. So the role and purpose, class level spring annotation is component and method level annotation is at the rate bean. Second, the typical use case where the component and bean can be used. So you can see at the rate component is a generic annotation and can be used to define any bean. On whatever class it is annotated with, the bean will be created. So this is a generic annotation. While at the rate bean is used for creating a specific bean with this particular name. So at the rate bean is used for explicitly declaring individually bean. It's not a generic bean that is created. Now, how is this instance created? So Spring, because of component scan, will automatically scan at the rate component and will automatically create the bean. You don't need any external configuration. So at the rate component is automatically created while external configuration is needed for my bean to be created in Spring container. So external configuration with at the rate configuration is needed here. So explicitly it should be defined in a configuration class only or in the XML configurations only. It will not be created automatically during component scan. So component scanning automatic detection and registration will be done for at the rate component. But it will not be detected directly during the component scan. It requires an explicit configuration with at the rate configuration annotation. So if you remove this and you just want this bean to be created, this will not happen. It will need external com configuration with this annotation or with XML configuration. But at the rate component won't need it because it is a stereotype annotation. Dependency injection. So this component that is the de demo component can be automatically be used as an auto wire dependency in another class. Similarly, this can also be used with auto wiring of my bean. But whenever you auto wire and create a bean for this, this method will be called explicitly. So this method can have some extra conditions to explicitly do some extra checks and create a bean with some custom or default values based on some logic. So with at the rate component, you cannot put any logic during bean creation, but you can put a logic during bean creation with at the rate bean annotation. So dependency injection can be done easily with at the wire, but no configuration explicitly can be done. While here the method which is returning the bean is always in invoked whenever you try to create a bean for this. Also Spring manages the complete lifecycle of this at the rate component class. For bean also, the bean created with at the rate bean, the spring only manages it. But the methods which is written here is not managed by spring bean. Only the bean management can be done by spring, but individual methods are not managed by spring. So even if you create multiple methods, these methods will not be manageable by spring. You only will be responsible for it. Now dependencies. It is very straightforward. You can directly create the dependency of this bean using at the rate auto wire annotation. 
while the complex dependencies and on conditional bean creation can be used with at the rate bean using the at the rate conditional annotation. So at the rate conditional annotation can get a class as an argument and that class when implements the conditional interface can give you some condition which returns true or false. So this bean can be created based on some condition. If that this, that condition returns you true, then only the bean with this at the rate bean annotation will be created, else this bean will not be created if it returns you false. So this complicated bean creation logic with at the rate conditional annotation, this conditional annotation can be done only with at the rate bean annotation. It cannot be done with at the rate component annotation. So this is a very big difference. Conditional annotations can only be used with complex dependency bean creation using at the rate bean. While component is very straightforward, it will not create the bean based on any condition with at the rate conditional annotation. Customization. Yes, customization is very much possible with at the rate bean because you have the method here. So here I can create the bean with custom value or with some default value. This cannot be done with at the rate component because no logic is written, can be written with this annotation. Why will the logic can be written here in this method before the bean creation? So yes, it's less explicit control is given with at the rate component while a fine gain control is given with at the rate bean annotation. Now again, the naming convention, you can create the name of this particular bean with at the rate component and give the default name here in the bracket and that with that name the bean will be created. While giving the name here is as easy as the name, method name. So method name determines the bean name unless you specify it explicitly with iterate. So that's the main difference between component and bean. Both will be creating the beans but at the rate component since it is stereotype will be automatically detect detected managed by spring. At the rate bean will not be, but the advantage of bean is you have you are gaining the explicit control. You can give the logic before the bean creation, which you cannot do with at the rate component. So both have their advantages and disadvantages. Deciding which you have to use depends upon your requirement. So that was all about difference between them. If you want to know more differences and more about annotations in spring and their tricky interview questions, just let me know in the comment section. I'll create more videos like that. Thank you.